Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. Danny boy, I'm starting with you. Okay, this is in Minnesota. Vikings favored by four. Do you have more faith in New York or Minnesota? I have more faith in the Giants, Molly. And before I really get into it of why, I think we need to address Daniel Jones a little bit. I, I honestly it. believe, and this is a person from the moment he got drafted who was hard on him, I think Daniel Jones has done enough this year to be a quarterback for the New York Giants. I don't know if he's the quarterback, I mean, for next year. I don't know if he's, like, the only guy, unquestioned starter, but he's done enough to warrant them, them having him on their football team as the starter until someone takes it from him, either maybe a draft pick or not. This is why I believe in the Giants more. Uh, I don't think that Vikings are better in anywhere other than quarterback and skill position people on offense. There's just this reality. The Giants are better on the defensive front. They're better at the second level. They're better in the secondary in totality. They're a much better defense. The Vikings give up for a team that's, I think, 11-3, and three, right? The Vikings give up six yards per play on defense. That is second worst in the NFL. They give up 400 yards per game. That is the worst in the NFL. So I have much more faith in a football team that is – uh, much more balanced, that is a defense that can kind of go to the bank. I mean, here's the reality for the Vikings, and I think they're a good football team. I've said that all year. But if we just look at, like, their last six weeks, right, they were down 33 nothing to the Colts. Now, that, a lot of that was self-inflicted early on. Like, 33 nothing to the Colts, who were on their 27th quarterback of the season. The week before that, <laughs> they got handled by Detroit. The week before that, they beat the Jets, which was a good performance. I will give them that. The week before that, they made the New England Patriots offense look like the greatest show on turf uh, and the Patriots offense, most predictable offense in the NFL. The week before that, they got smoked by the Cowboys. And the week before that, Justin Jefferson put on an incredible performance for a comeback. So I, I just I have more faith in a Giants football team that is more balanced, I feel. I mean, I bring you on, I mean, we, we're we proud to have you on first take and everything, but you're supposed to be giving us <laughs> expert definitive analysis. What the hell was that? I mean, you're going to sit up there this and say Daniel Jones has proven enough, not necessarily to be there next season, but uh, uh, not necessarily to be a starter, but to be basically to be on the roster. I mean, well, duh. I, I mean, literally come said on. starter until come someone on, takes D. it. Come on, D.O. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay. Answer the question. First of all, let's say, let's say this, all right? Answer the let's, question, listen, Morris. Listen, of course I have more faith. Of course I have more faith. That uh, is the uh, biggest compliment you ever not. gave Stephen A. in his life. He's Morris chestnut, chestnut from the chin down. Chin up? No, no, no. Chin down. Well, well, to the belly button, maybe. Well, listen, listen. Oh. Most, most, most people don't look as good as Morris Chestnut. There's no shame. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm 55, my brother. I, I, I think I'm doing all right. Now let's move on from there. The point that I'm trying to make to you is that when you look at Kirk Cousins in the season he's having, when you look at Dalvin Cook in the season he's having, when you look at Justin Jefferson in the season that he's having, I'm no fan of the Minnesota Vikings, nor their defense, nor Kirk Cousins. I think they'll fold like cheap tents when it really, really counts come playoff time, but a regular season game against an offense that's got Saquon Barkley and a bunch of names you got to look, you got you got to Google to know who the hell they are. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit up there and say that I got faith, more faith in the New York Giants. I got faith in Dable. I really, really like Dable. Again. And he was a coach of the year candidate until they nosedived. But the bottom line is when you look at the requisite weapons that the Minnesota Vikings have available to them, I'm sorry. I can't put the Giants and say, well, you know what? I got more faith in the Giants than the Vikings. And oh, by the way, let me add this, D.O., before I give it to Swagoo. You know enough to know that the Giants uh, robbed the commanders. That was a pass interference on that final play. And how is yeah. McLaurin going to look at it? He's going to get caught for a legal formation. He looks at the referee. He gets he looks so at the official. He gets the okay from the official. And then the official throw the flag on him after he gave him the okay. I mean, come on. I mean, this is kind of stuff that happened. So let's Nothing. not forget that either. Dio, I, listen, the fact that this is even a thought, and I, look, both of you guys make great points. I just say I got more faith in the Vikings because they how explosive they are. 
the, like as bad as the 33 0 was, them dudes put up 40 points in one half of football. So we know the capabilities of them getting off offensively, and we've seen it time and time again. I just trust Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, KJ Osborne, Adam Thielen, and Hawkinson, and obviously Kirk Cousins more than I trust Daniel Jones and them. Now, if you're telling me that that Giants defense is going to be able to keep them under the thumb, which they've been playing really well, then we having a conversation. I just think it's too explosive in this particular game based on the Giants just relying on Saquon Barkley, bro. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.